Hi everybody, this is Joanne Manister, and today I'll be having a conversation with Matthew Hubble, who is a designer in the UK. He used to be an engineer. Turns out he reached out to May Britt Moser, one of the recipients of the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology for her work on grid cells, which help us understand our spatial arrangement. So Matthew, thank you for joining me today. Hi Joanne, nice to be here. Matthew decided to reach out to Dr. Moser and see if she would like a specially designed dress to have something that's sophisticated and elegant as well as communicating something about the science world. I'm looking at uh, your dress right now and the, this is the, the dress you made for May Britt. We really wanted to see a Nobel laureate in our, in our dress because um, you know it's, it's, it's like the ultimate um, accolade for a scientist and in the world so and also to be on a world stage is a uh, you know pretty exciting so we started researching grid cells looking at what Maybrook wears and take taking into account the, the the Nobel Prize ceremony you know this could be royalty there and everything so we really had to come up with something that was original and exciting <laughs> would fit the setting yeah so so this is the dress that we came up with uh, there are many designs, but the, we felt this one was the, the most appropriate for the occasion. Um, and what you can see from, from, from the research, the, the whole idea is that as you move around a space, your neurons will fire on a grid, grid basis. So as you can see from the dress, we've actually got the grid as the main structure of the dress. And then you know, it goes all the way around. Uh, and the, you know this is fully couture dress. It's all draped on the stand. Although it looks like straight lines here, each piece is actually cut to to, to fit the body. Um, so you know it, it's a very well fitting dress uh, and comfortable as well. Um, and same around the back. And then we put the what we've done is to use the neurons firing. Um, we use beading. Uh, you know, beading's beautiful because it, it glitters nicely in the world, as you can see here. As I turn the dress, you'll see it catching the light. But, uh, but also doing the neurons, you know, we had to do some research for that, make sure that they were as accurate as possible, because obviously when you're showing a, a Nobel laureate their own work back to them, you, you want it to be as accurate as possible. Well, it looks beautiful. It's, it's incredible. So I, I understand uh, she was speaking with other journalists there. While she's wearing the dress that you made, uh, can you can you tell me a little bit about how she was using the dress to explain her work? When May Britt wanted to explain in detail everything about the grid cells and uh, the neurons, she she actually used the dress to um, to point out the grid, the neurons, and how they fire, and how the synapses would come off, and how they connect. And so, uh, and one thing she said was. You know, as a scientist, she she hasn't previously been that interested in high fashion. She said, but now she sees that um, it can be used as a great communicator. Uh, she really appreciates uh, fashion design a lot more now. If we can get more fashion communicating, more science to, to more people, and widening the talent pool that might be interested in a career in science or, or engineering, then uh, you know that's uh, it's, it's a great thing to know that I can inspire people as well as role models such as May Britt. Well, the dress is absolutely amazing, and I'm positive she's going to look amazing at the award ceremony and probably have the most unique dress in the history of the Nobels. Um, and there's not very many women who've won the Nobels, um, so you've really uh, got yourself an opportunity. I didn't realize before how few, how few women had actually won the, the awards for science. Uh, you know, I was, I, I was reading something the other day, there was two who had won it for physics, um, and you know, uh, I think maybe it's the 16th out of nearly 600 Nobel laureates that have won the prize for science, you know, uh, ever. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's a pretty big honor to make a, a, a dress for her. To be the first one that's actually wearing a dress that's designed with the inspiration of uh, the laureate's work in mind, then, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. 